basically good dog for stays away from us not weeks not months days i can say so because in the latest beta 17 at the first line developers are telling that so today is friday probably they will be working very very hard during the weekend so that before next friday the new version of gujo should be released we still don't have any official date and maybe this is sent the last beta before the release candidate but well the important thing here is that in a matter of days gujo 4 will be released Today I will be trying out this new beta and see if everything seems to be working fine. Remember to subscribe for more content news about Gujo 4. Basically in the official site of Gujo in the latest news, we have here dev snapshot Gujo 4.0 beta 17. And here we have, we are now just a days away from the release candidate. We have here the date, the 1st of February. And well, maybe this is important because beta 16 was released in january 27 this means that after five or six dates uh, beta 17 was released so maybe the day uh, six day seven of february we should have the good job release candidate as i said before there isn't an official date yet if you asking me if you're asking me uh, maybe i think that one more beta will be released why uh, because I believe if it, if it was uh, this the, the the last beta of Gujo 4, maybe they would tell us so. Like, uh, uh, be ready. This is the la the last beta of Gujo. Maybe something uh, more special um, than just a normal article about a new beta. But um, we don't know anything. So basically, uh, we have here the changes of the beta as usual. I will jump to the uh, download section. Uh, here, uh, in this case, I will download the standard build because we don't want to use C Sharp or anything like that. And here we download Gujo 4, beta 17, Windows 64. As usual, it's just a C file you extract and you have the executable file of Gujo. I don't expect too much changes if if I'm honest because um, new betas are released more usual than ever and well we are very close to the release candidate so I believe uh, not big things will be added. So the user interface is literally uh, the same one. I will create a new project naming uh, beta 17 for example. I will create a new folder. We have the same renderers and I will click create an edit. We'll see how much time uh, it takes to just open a project. Okay, uh, it's I believe the same loading time as we had in the beta uh, 16. I know this is a beta, uh, but please, uh, if they could fix uh, the loading time, it would be great. I know the loading time is incredibly good in Gujo. But for example, in the version 3, uh, you just open a new project and it opens instantly. And that's a great, great feeling. Because for example, in, in, in engines like Unity, you can take about a minute or uh, 30 seconds to just open a project. Uh, I continue having in the output uh, this um, message. I really don't get why. The same thing happened in beta 16. I don't know if I'm the only one having this message or if uh, everybody is having this, I don't have a clue. As usual, we can uh, choose a renderer from here or uh, we can use uh, the cinema mode or something, the movie maker mode. For me, everything uh, seems the, the same thing. Of course, there are changes, uh, for example, about the physics, I believe or about shaders or some things like that. Personally, I, I don't really know how to use a good dough deeply. I don't know how to make 3D games in good dough, for example. I don't know how to use shaders uh, because I mostly uh, try to make my games with Unity. And uh, I believe there aren't a lot of changes. Um, for example, if they had changed e every single thing about the physics engine, they haven't, I think. But if they have one day, of course, I would do a video about it. So to test the workflow or literally uh, anything of this inversion, I will create as usual a new 2D scene and I will attach a script to it 
uh, with a, a template of empty uh, this is interesting because usually when you try to attach a new script this template is uh, put in the default built-in uh, template in the last beta in the previous video um, I put the object empty um, template and now in a way I believe uh, it loads and it saves and loads the preference you put here but well let's say it's that the case we will create a new script um, also I would like to here create a new sprite in the texture I will quickly load uh, the icon of Guto uh, I will center it let's say in my script in my uh, function ready func ready I will grab this sprite to the sprite to the dot color uh, dot model sorry will be equals to now yes color dot red for example let's say red I will also uh, save this scene and then I will preview it it's taking a while to just preview a scene because this is the first time okay everything's working fine and uh, okay now the previewing uh, previewing the scene takes a uh, takes less time than the first time now the output message I was seeing here uh, disappeared I don't know why what I'm going to do is to go to the projects tab um, quit I believe okay I will open Gojo again and I will open the project again um, okay and now I have this message again basically I found here a reddit post in which a person was having I believe this is the same issue I had this one exactly so here uh, one person told him uh, what he should do so this is basically going to project then project settings we should enable our advanced settings and here uh, we should also look for a blend and I don't know what other thing okay so I believe this is the option I had to turn off Change settings will apply to it after restarting, so save and restart. And let's see if we uh, get that error again. Okay, it seems. Okay, it's gone. This is something related to 3D, I believe, because here it says uh, if true, Blender 3D scenes uh, with the. Well, some, some explanation I don't know. So uh, I don't really understand why I have to turn this off. If, as you can see, I'm just using 2D scenes and I only have a script and a 2D scene and obviously the icon of Kudo. Of course, all of these uh, things, I believe, should be uh, fixed before the release candidate. But probably I can say that this version is working uh, perfectly fine. Another thing I would uh, like to try out is uh, the web editor version I don't know where I can find it uh, you can also try the web editor let's see if now works a bit better because when we try this out I don't remember uh, which beta was but it was like one month ago or even two months ago I don't really remember it worked oh it was a disaster it was too slow it crashed well awful it's a beta and I get it, but anyway, let's just start the Godo editor. Uh, let's see how much it takes. It's taking a while. I am not going to cut the video or anything like that because I want you to know uh, the exact same amount of time uh, this takes. I don't know if this has, has crashed or anything. Uh, this seems okay. Here I have the editor. Uh, I'm going to create a new project, name it beta17, uh, for example, I will create a new folder and I will click create an edit, warning this project uses the following features, not supported by this build of Godot forward plus, open anyway, project will modify, okay, yes, I didn't change a thing and it told me I had to modify something, weird, um, okay, editor, okay, yeah, that was fast, I believe. The thing is that uh, when you're loading something or opening something or something like that, uh, you're changed to this uh, loader window 
and when the editor, the project or something is loaded, uh, Bujo doesn't change you to that scene. And I believe here I'm also having uh, unable to socket a reuse their option. I don't know what that is. And I even have this error uh, twice. Let's now pay attention to this. And again, I will create a new to this scene. I will just maybe make it a little bit faster. Sprite, quick load icon. Uh, where's the viewport? Okay, it's here. Uh, I will create a new script with object empty. I don't know, maybe this is uh, now the default option for templates, maybe. And uh, I will here in the function ready uh, sprite2d.modulate will be equal to color.red. Uh, now I will preview this scene and I have to save it. And now, okay, everything's working fine. I will tell you one thing this is working perfectly. Eh? We can clearly see the difference uh, between maybe five six or ten betas before because the web editor was impossible to use and now well it's working let's see let's say fine if we would like to go back to the editor i think we should close this scene okay perfect and i have a, again these warnings and i have some errors kind of listen on port uh, remote debugging unavailable and we also have a uh, get process ID is not available on the web platform. Okay. This, I believe, doesn't affect uh, the performance of the engine, but I don't like here in the output. Uh, I don't like uh, having their errors, warning, or literally anything. What I would like to see here is that uh, the new default template option is uh, empty because you can see this is the second option, the first option is a uh, no default this is uh, the default script this is i believe this is the same template as it has always been so now i i will just i will even create a new scene i will put a new node and if i try to attach a script uh, using existing script file and uh, because i i already have a, a script name node to this so i will change to like a um, template or something like that uh, and now if I try to touch a script, no, I believe now the default option is object empty, but it's weird to see it uh, like a second option. I believe this option should be up here. So I'm very happy with this uh, version of Gujo with beta 17. As soon as Gujo 4 release candidate is released, I will make a new video and upload it. So if I were you, I would definitely subscribe to the channel. Of course, there are some errors as in the web editor, uh, we had that warnings and errors here, although I didn't have a thing in the scene. Or here uh, in the, how do you call it, the executable version, the Windows version, uh, we had here some things related to the 3D engine, uh, like the Blender or something like that. So I believe uh, those uh, errors will be fixed for the release candidate. Maybe one more beta is released, maybe two, but uh, probably before the next weekend, we should have the release candidate of Gujo. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye.